Hi, boys and girls. Um, I'm back. We're going to do some art today. We're going to do, um, it's an I draw, you draw, and it's, it's called uh, shoe print art from this book. I love this book. So what you do is, you can pause the video, um, you go and get a piece of paper and a pencil and your shoe. And what you need to do is you need to trace your shoe like I did here, see? I put my shoe on the paper and then I, you can have mommy or daddy help you trace, okay? So you can pause the video and then when you come back, um, when you have this done, now we can start making it into something. That's the whole idea of this shoe print art. Um, the whole book has all these different things you can make out of your shoe print. So once you get your shoe print, I'm gonna hold it up here best I can. Today we're gonna try to make an owl, an owl, okay? So the first thing you do is get something hard to write on. Time out. Okay, I'm back. So you have your shoe here and the skinny part is down at the bottom, right? So you're gonna take your pen and you're just gonna make two bumps on either side like this. And those are gonna be the wings. So make your two bumps like that. I'll give you a minute to catch up. Or you can pause the video, either one. Then after that, after you make your two bumps, then you take your pencil and you go make these up and down lines. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down up down up down inside the wing so it looks like feathers same thing on this side ready oh, i wasn't even showing you sorry up down up down up down it's easier if i look at myself doing it maybe Ooh, that was a little wild yeah just up down up down and then the wing should look sort of like that so then the next thing you do is you know how owls have those big eyes? So we're gonna make two big circles at the top. And then inside the circle, make a smaller circle. Like that. And then inside that circle, make like the pupil of the eye, the little black dot. Then you just make a V to connect the eyes. So that would be the beak. So you would go down, up, like that. See his little beak, isn't that cute? So then, this is one of those horned owls. So we're gonna make some little horns up here. So you just make a little, let's see what kind of a shape, it, almost like a little rounded triangle up here and up here. That looks like a little devil owl, doesn't he? And you just put a line there and a line there. And there's his little horns. And then at the bottom, my foot's so big, I don't have a whole lot of room at the bottom, but at the bottom, you can just make these like three little worm shapes for his feet, like that. And the same thing on the other side. Ugh. Always attacking me. Just three little, little roundy shapes like that for his feet. Can't do it very well but looking at the screen. So then, my picture shows that the person did like this and the body of the owl just made lots of oval shapes. This is gonna look really cute when you color it in. You can hang it on your fridge, hang it on the wall, hang it in your room, hang it in your blanket fort, if you made your blanket fort this morning. There you go. So then if I had my crayons here, which I don't, I would um, I'd color it in. But I know yours is going to look way cuter than mine. Okay, well, happy drawing, and I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.